Good afternoon everyone, it's Francis. This video is to show you uh, what uh, NASA is talking about today. started at 3 p.m. Eastern on sciencemag.org. Uh, a live chat with Don Yeomans, N Daniel Strain, Scott about uh, asteroid YU-55. We're going to scroll through the chat so you get a chance to read what they said even though if you weren't there live there's some good questions about the asteroid, about viewing the asteroid on November 8th, and some great questions from people you may know like T-Bar 1984 has got a great question in there. Uh, besides this chat I want you to know that uh, tomorrow night, Friday, November 4th at 8 p.m. Eastern Collision Course starts with me, your host, Francis, and my special guest, again this week, Richard C. Hoagland. We are going to ask Richard questions like you'll see here in this chat, and you'll probably get answers that are totally different uh, as to the orbital path and what the possibility is of uh, asteroid YU-55 uh, being different than what we're going to see in this chat. What this chat is is what I believe to be close to the truth in so far is that the event is going to be what they say it is. Why NASA continues to come out with information in the way it does I cannot tell you. They like to do things in um, elementary and it, it hurts uh, but this uh, chat that we're going to see as I'm going to scroll through is going to give us some good information about the asteroid. Then tomorrow night on Collision Course on Revolution Radio, you're going to hear from Richard who has a different opinion and we're going to explore YU-55 uh, one more time in depth until we get to the November 8th uh, event. For November 8th, um, I have gathered a group of observers and, and astronomers who are going to help me document the event. If Richard is right, everyone who's observing with me will get quite a sight. If, Richard, if NASA is right and Richard is wrong, then those of us who are with me out there are getting a great shot of the moon and learning something about probability and how it affects us in our um, search for the truth that matters to us most. So, this is Francis. I'm going to scroll through this chat. Let's go. I'm going to read it to myself and I'm going to move along as if I'm reading it to myself and hopefully you'll be able to keep up and then I'll announce the show again at the end of this video and you'll have a great Thursday afternoon and be pumped up for Friday night's collision course on Revolution Radio and here we go. Let's go see what NASA said about YU-55.
Okay, so that's it. Um, not it, but I'm going to end it short, a little bit shorter. I don't know how long they're going to go, but those are some good uh, answers. Pretty much status quo. It's what the truth is. As far as NASA is concerned, now tomorrow night on uh, Revolution Radio with me, your host Francis, and my show Collision Course, our guest Richard C. Hoagland, who has a long history of uh, interest in uh, NEO objects and the inner solar system, will tell us what he thinks about the passage of YU-55 and how we can help him and the rest of us learn more about these objects and have a chance to observe it as it passes by. So tomorrow night we're going to learn about how the listeners can see the asteroid, uh, what uh, they should be doing to uh, observe it, and this chat here gives us some reference as to uh, its placement in the sky and when we should be out looking. Any other information I can give to you about observing YU-55 would probably uh, begin with the asteroid's coordinates which can be uh, discovered on um, the International Astronomical Union website, the one that I use to get the coordinates for the telescopes that I use remotely. Uh, filters that you might want to use would probably uh, would be IR filters. They are filters that you uh, can put on telescopes to assist in viewing planetary objects. Um, realize that the asteroid is going to move nine degrees an hour which is about the width of three fingers held at arm's uh, length and then uh, look on the side of the moon that's away from the sun I'll have some more updates about it as we go along but to anyone who wants to take part please take part get in contact with us we're gonna take your images after the fact and we're gonna make a montage video so until then We'll see you tomorrow night on Revolution Radio with uh, my guest Richard C. Hoagland on Collision Course. This is Francis, and I'm out of here.